scrapbookers this is megan and i am back today with another book journaling page so for this one i am going to be doing my star ratings as well as my legend so it's kind of like an important information page um so I decided to start out with this piece of paper. I want to say it's from Maggie Holmes because I think it's like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper or maybe it's like 10 by 14 or something like that. It's an odd size for scrapbooking paper at least because usually I buy like 12 by 12 size paper. So I want to say it's either Amy Tangerine or Maggie Holmes because they had like specialty collections at one point that I think I bought from like Joann's and it was the weird 8x10 size or a little bit longer than that. So um, anyway, so I am just, I glued it down and then I'm cutting the, the edges off of it and that works out okay. I do kind of fling all of the, what I had inside, all of the photos and everything all over the place. So I'm going to have to go back through and figure out where I wanted everything as well because, yeah, that kind of got thrown out. Um, but I am super excited because... I am getting to the part where I'm going to actually start making the monthly pages with the pictures of the books. Um, I'm thinking I might, uh, I have like ideas to do a series tracker and a like book graph and book lengths page, but I think I might leave the book lengths and the book graph page for one of the last pages and then the year in review for the last page. And then the series tracker I might do on the next page over though. I think I am going to change that piece though while I'm sitting here because I do want to be able to um, like easily find my book trackers and I think with it being at the beginning of the book that would be the easiest but I digress sorry I kind of got off track um so here you can see I am bringing out my stars that I have so I actually had I think three sets of stamps that had a star in them um and I think one of them Three of them were just the plain star, and then one out of the four sets was um, like the inside piece, and it fit perfectly with one of the stamps. So I don't quite remember which stamp set it was. I will try to remember to leave a link below. I did get them from Close to My Heart because Close to My Heart is my all-time fave stamp company even though they're going out of business and it's very very sad for me I have always absolutely loved their stamps so um, here you can see I'm bringing out different ink pads and trying to figure out exactly what I want to do and while I'm doing this I think I'm gonna go through the photos <laughs> that I um, that I kind of spewed everywhere and fell out of the the book um, and I'm gonna see if I can fix them and put them all back in to the book where they belong so here I am just cleaning off one of the stamps that I'm gonna use and I am going to use three different stamp um, what are they called I was going to say stamp pads, but like the, the thing that you actually do the stamping with. The block. The stamp block. Yeah, that thing. So, um, I am going to test out everything that I'm writing on this scrap piece of paper. And then I'm going to put it in the actual book. Um, because I'm kind of a perfectionist. <laughs> And I wanted it to look perfect and I've kind of decided that you know it's definitely okay that it's not perfect and I'm okay with that but I definitely I really did like 
trying things out on a scrap piece of paper first. It really did kind of help me decide and make decisions quickly so that I was able to move forward. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I was going through a bunch of these collections and this one right here that has the camera on it had like a, uh, what is it? A pattern of dots that was on a stamp. So I cut that pattern off and I'm just going to use that pattern because I wanted a straight line and I couldn't remember which one of my stamp sets had just a straight line to do like decorative lines or whatever. So I did find this one and I, sorry, my nose is running and I don't have any tissues near me. Sorry. So if I sounded a little muted, that was why, because my nose is running. Um, so here you can see I am just stamping with the sapphire water-based ink from close to my heart and I am just going to stamp all the way or halfway down the page with this and then um, doing the the right side though I should have not glued this piece of paper down I don't know what I was thinking I mean I wasn't thinking that I was going to do a border or anything like that but I, I quickly realized I should not have glued the, the paper down but that's okay so now here you can see I am starting to do the the stars. So um, I'm going to have obviously five star ratings and each next to each rating is going to be what that like the definition of that star is. And you'll see I do go back and write it on here. Um, I'm not sure if I do that before moving on to the legend or after. But I stamp in the, the sapphire ink and then I'm going to go back and do the inside and I'm going to stamp that with the smoothie ink. And I apologize. I have my autofocus on which I have just decided before I start recording I'm going to check and make sure the autofocus is turned off every single time. I'm just going to get into that habit. Okay, so now here I am just finishing off the little box that the star ratings are going to be in. And then, and there you go. I So I did put the right side together and it did kind of, oh no, I just made stuff fly everywhere again. It did kind of smoosh it, the stamp a little funky just because um, because I, uh, it was really hard with the stamp not to get it on this, the extra page on that second page. So I think I'm just going to pull everything out of my book. So nothing goes flying anymore. Um, I did actually start reading my next book. I need to actually get on and see who commented to be a winner in my giveaway because um, I do have a giveaway that I am I have a couple of different giveaways like a lot of different giveaways I think I have three different giveaways this month so I think I'm going to do a video a face-to-face -face video after this because there are going to be two win winners that I am going to um, put out tomorrow and um one of them is for the May Layout a Day Challenge, and that is through Scrap Happy. So that winner will be announced tomorrow. And then also the winner of the, um, the kit, my March scrapbooking store kit, with some extra little embellishments. Okay, so now here you can see I stamped star ratings at the top and I added a couple little embellishing uh, stamps next to the title and then now I'm doing the legend on the bottom and the legend is going to be the different types of books that I read so I'm going to do let's see what am I going to do let me read them um, 
there's going to be autobiography, romance, young adult, classic, fiction, fantasy, science fiction, mystery, and self-help. Self-help, mystery, and science fiction were all last-minute additions. I was actually not going to add those on, but in the end, I was like, you know what? Sometimes I do pick up just a random mystery book or something, and so... Um, and sometimes I do read like fiction that's more like science fiction than just fiction. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to take up the rest of this bottom piece and make it work. So here I am just stamping out with different colors. So I have like an emerald green um, from Close to My Heart as autobiography. Then raspberry from Close to My Heart is romance. I think Bluebird is Young Adult, and then Sundance is Classic Books. So here you can see I am writing out the title of each type of book, or each genre of books, I guess I should say. And then I am going to continue on with fiction on the right side, fantasy, science fiction, mystery, and self-help. And I did keep my little, where is it? I'm going to keep my piece of paper um, that has the type of ink or the name of the ink. I'm going to keep that. I mean, that was my goal to keep it. I have no idea where I put it now, but I was going to keep it just so that I wouldn't forget which color goes with which genre of book but if I lost it oh well that's okay <laughs> we'll just figure it out so now here I'm still doing um the the stamping for the genres that takes a little bit longer than just saying I'm gonna do this <laughs> right and then the star ratings um the first one is going to be or the a one star rating um, I, I classify that as did not finish slash I hate it. Um, two star rating would be okay. Like the book's okay. Boring. Wouldn't recommend it. Three star ratings means good. Liked the story. Four star rating. Loved it. Would recommend. Five star ra rating is amazing book or amazing book hangover couldn't put it down and um, I actually I think I give a five star rating a lot more to books and I kind of want to give get away from that because I feel like those books are ones that it's like oh my god I would definitely read this again and there's a lot of books that I really really like but I wouldn't read it again you know so um, that's why I classified five-star ratings as amazing <clears throat> and couldn't put it down, whereas the four-star rating is I loved it and would definitely recommend it. So I will have photos at the end of this um, so that you can see a closer look. I guess that's the unfortunate thing about doing these types like a traveler's notebook, a smaller area is it's kind of hard to zoom in on that area. I mean, I could, but then I feel like you're missing a lot of everything else going on during making the layout. So I decided just to leave it as it is. And now here I'm done with all the inks, so I'm gonna put those away. And actually I am just going to store those on my actual desk, just right above where my notebook is. And that makes it easy so that if I just randomly want to, you know, mark an ink color or something, I can just easily put that in there. So now here I am going to write out my different star ratings that I just told you about. And I went between two different ideas that I got from Pinterest. Um, the one of them had a, her five star rating was called loved it would recommend. Whereas 
if I read a book and it's five stars, it has to be amazing. You know, like it has to be just, yeah, over the top book that I would definitely read it again. So I kind of got two different ideas from two different people. <clears throat> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you back again tomorrow. Have a great scrappy day. Bye.